Hey guys, Jason at Hard Money Bankers with your Private Money Minute. Going to do a quick case study today with a breakdown of a project that we did recently just to show you real easy how we break things down. Hopefully you get some good takeaways from this and you can do that as well inside your business for your deals. This was done in Sage Construction, in Sage uh, software that we have. Construction software, you could do this in QuickBooks or whatever else, but obviously the main these are the main numbers on a broad level, then I'm going to break them down, but... We were all in, all in, all in with everything up front, you know, front end cost and back end cost 215. We sold for 240 and the profit was about $24,000, which is about 10% profit margin. We try to strive for about 10 or 15 of all in, so it worked. All right, so this is the report. Don't let it overwhelm you. Uh, there's a lot of data because there's a lot of line items, but at the same time, it's very, very, you know, self explanatory and you need to obviously a proper reporting. So we break all our construction into a few different phases. So as you can see, construction phase one, construction phase two, construction phase three, construction phase four, and construction phase five, right there. Then we had uh, third party fees associated with, with construction that didn't kind of fit into one of those phases. Then we had our purchase costs, which is our purchase price, um, transfer tax, recordation tax, title insurance, title fees, property taxes, property insurance, things like that. Then we had our financing costs, all the financing costs there. Then we had our holding costs, uh, taxes and gas, water, electric, stuff like that. Then we had our selling costs, our seller subsidy, realtor commissions, transfer taxes, everything done on the back end and, and our title fees uh, and stuff like that. So as you can see at the bottom, the complete job title, job total was $215,000. Now this is everything. Make sure you're dividing these up. If you're doing the bare minimum, and let's just say you're doing it on an Excel spreadsheet, which I wouldn't recommend, do it at least uh, in QuickBooks at the bare minimum. I'd recommend Sage or something even better than that. But make sure you're doing purchase price, all your purchase costs, all your construction costs, all your financing costs, your holding costs, uh, and your resale costs, right? Make sure those are all labeled correctly. And then you can go into subcategories and detail them out. But this shouldn't be confusing for you. Everything has to be broken down that way. Also, if you want to check out Hard Money Bankers Free Deal Analyzer, that can help you on the front end. It's not a way to track things as it's happening in real time, but on the front end, you can at least estimate some of those numbers. Just go to hardmoneybankers.com forward slash free dash deal dash analyzer to check that out. Hopefully you found this helpful and this case study uh, you know, made sense to you so you're able to implement it in, inside your business. Any questions related to this, please comment below. Happy to answer any questions. And if you found this video valuable, please share it with all of your friends. I'd certainly appreciate it. Like, comment, share, subscribe. This is Jason with your Private Money Minute.